Hello everyone, it's The Darkest Raven, and I'm back with a new episode. I'm just going to be speeding up the first little bit, because uh, it's kind of boring. I uh, went around and trained up all of my Pokemon, and managed to catch two new members to our team. I got a uh, Purloin named Catwoman in the Midnight Mansion uh, that was through the cave thing with Bob, where we caught a uh, Moly Moly Moly. I also happened to catch a Rotom, which will save us against the Grass Gym. So there shouldn't be too much trouble there. Uh, also in this sped up section, I went over all of the battles with the trainers that I missed on the first run through. So uh, yeah, it'll just be a really quick, kind of entertaining leeway into the real episode, which will be starting any minute now. And if you don't want to watch this, uh, skip to 3 minutes and 6 seconds. And that's where the real episode starts, where we take on the gym and Team uh, Olympus. Olympus, that's it. The Team Rocket spin-off people who are destined to destroy my village and people and stuff. I went too easy on them. I just knocked the Pokemon out and you know, kind of sent them on their way. That was a very long pause. I'm going to try not to do that in the actual video. I have to record this after the fact, so it's kind of hard to think of things to say, especially since I need to drag this out for 3 minutes and 6 seconds, or I can't even comment on uh, the battles. Oh, wait, battles, yes. Um, the battle with the Kadabra was very unfortunate. I didn't have anything that could really take any special hits, except for the level 8 Purloin, and that is why Catwoman will be staying on our team for the foreseeable future. It, uh, it saved me in that battle, and earned a spot on our team. And I wanted to name it Selena Kyle. I could not remember Catwoman's name, so I had to just go with Catwoman. And, uh, yeah, I could have been a lot more creative there. Also, I couldn't think of a good name for Rotom. And I knew I needed to have either a Rotom Heat or a Rotom Ice to cover my absolutely horrible grass weakness. But, uh, yeah, a Motor? I mean, I just found out that Rotom is Motor backwards. I should have figured that out before, but I mean, wanted something much more clever, like wishy-washy or, I don't know, but as long as Motor, Motor's, as long as Motor's happy with its name, I guess that's all that matters. And, uh, just a couple more seconds before the video starts. Not enough time to sing any Christmas carols, or, you know, folk songs of sorts, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stall and, uh, okay, yeah, uh, get ready for the episode. Thanks for watching. I'm back with my Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke, and I have some excellent news. Uh, well, you were gone. I. Oh, wait a second. Sweet Snorky. I captured two new Pokemon. We got Motor, the Rotom. And Catwoman, the Purloin. So we stand excellent chance against the gym right now. So just before battling the gym, I'm going to teach uh, Savior Acid, just in case we need. Just in case we need. It. And the gym should not be too much of a challenge now. I was very worried before getting motor, but we stand a very good chance now. So we're just going to level Motor up on the Gym Trainers, and... Well, that should be more than enough to do it. The only problem is that the only fire move it knows is Overheat, so... I can only use it once before having my special attack cut in half. But, uh, we'll see if that's a problem. Hey, champ in the making! This be... This'd be the Onega Town Gym. Our leader, Gideon, uses powerful grass-type Pokémon. If you want to beat him... Flying, fire, bug, poison, or ice types should work. That's a lot of types. Be careful not to use water, ground, or rock types, though. Grass is extra strong against them. And that was pretty much all I had through my own mistakes. Um, don't seem to be any gym trainers. I have no clue where I'm going. Uh, let's try this one. Oh, nope. Let's go this way. Okay, this could take a while. Oh, what's the point of this if there aren't any gym trainers? Okay, get up in here. Uh, 
There we go. And it seems that his main Pokémon is a Nuzleaf. Well, that's perfect for a Nuzlocke. Anyway, let's take him on. Another kid from Zaravar Town, eh? Your friend was here hours ago, yelling about teenager things. If I can't even beat a kid, who am I as a grass leader? An actor? A person? But you're young. Why am I boring you with the laments of an older man? Let's battle. Yes, let's battle. You terrified me before getting Rotom. Probably still would have been able to win, but only having, like, a Pokemon that can deal neutral damage. See, that's just, that's just wonderful. And I don't know if the special attack being cut in half will be enough. Uh, let's see how much damage it still does. Quick attack, that's not gonna do anything. I missed? Alright. So we're going to switch into Savior. I'm surprised he doesn't have a Grass Poison type either. I think he have a Gloom or something to at least cover his Poison weakness. Ooh! Alright. That did a lot. I got one more attack, because even if it crits, it's not going to kill me. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. We're going to heal Savior, switch back into Rotom. Okay. Super Potion. Savior. Attack. Now we can safely heal up our Rotom, even though it doesn't really need any health. I wonder how Catwoman would do against the Leafeon. Grass Whistle, now I'm asleep. That could be problematic. I do have Awakenings though, and the accuracy on that isn't too great. Oh, and uh, my Rotom has a defense-lowering nature and zero IVs in defense, so it has the absolute worst defense you could have. Okay, missed. That's good. Crit. Not that I needed it, but... Alright. Let's see how much Motor can do to his Nuzleaf. Despite the attack draw. The climax of the movie fast approaches. There we go. Super easy gym. And, uh, I think we're going to have to take on Team Olympus. Well, Erica won't like this. I'm not sure what we do after this. We should get cut. Must be something. Anyways, take this. Nature Badge. And... Grass Knot. Never liked Grass Knot. So let's find out what we gotta do now. Oh no, no! I just wanted to leave. But what's this face got me trapped? There we go. Alright, so now we gotta find Cut somewhere. It's probably in the museum that's taken over by the Team Olympus games or whatever. So let's get that done and call it an episode. I had. I battled all the uh, previous chainers in the sped up montage in the beginning. And uh, Catwoman actually saved me from uh, one of the cadavers. Level 16, uh, Cadavra taken out by a level 10 Purloin. That thing was giving me a lot of trouble. Let the Chronos handle this. Oh, he actually wants to battle me. I wonder if I was supposed to do this before the gym. 
probably. Although I would have been way over leveled. So, uh, we could actually get our Pokemon up to level 28 before the third gym now. So, there's going to be a lot of stuff between now and the third gym. Alright, so who do we want to get some experience? Uh, I had a Ponyard, so I'm not sure what types of Pokemon they'll be using. Uh, let's go with Rock and Rolla. Rock and Rolla. Should be evolving soon. Why do you want to kick us out? I just want to learn about fossils and archaeology. That's funny. Why not anthropology? Okay, you've got a pond here as well. You've got sturdy, so I'm safe. I'm hit you with a mud slap and see what that does. I wonder if mud slaps. Oh, it's definitely a special move. That's not good. You don't have any special attack. Cut my defense down all you want, you can't one shot me. Unless you have a multi hit move. Yeah, you might have a multi hit move. Let's go into. Knives Chow. I made Knives Chow the ultimate stall Pokemon from Synthesis, Leech Seed, uh, Giga Drain, Furry Cutter. Yep, that would have hit multiple times. And that's a bug move. Gonna have a nice job there. Seahost Roo. Furry Cutter, why Furry Cutter? I like Furry Cutter's bug move. Okay, so this guy goes down without any trouble. I still need to get a uh, high crit chance move for Seahost Roo so I can take advantage of that focus energy and sniper ability. The boss won't be so happy. No, he won't. You kind of failed. Rock and roll, uh. They seem to have ponyards. I'm not sure if they all will. Perfect. Someone to test out my new super awesome rare Pokemon. Ponyard is a pretty rare Pokemon. You have Shelmet. Seems like they uh, really like steel types. Ah, oh, that didn't do a lot at all. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I can finish you off anyway. Bide is Bide isn't a very nice move. Especially when they use uh, attack lowering moves. That guy didn't, but a lot of the wild Pokemon were using them. Patrats! All the Patrats used it. Okay. Let's just go through this quickly with the motor. The motor's gonna carry us through all these steel types. He'll never defeat Team Olympus. Riolu! Riolu's steel type. I don't think it is. So I was hitting it with uh, psychic type moves in the gym. Yeah, it's just a regular fighting type. Oh wow, this team actually has some pretty decent Pokemon. They're gonna be uh, challenged later on. So. Too close for comfort, get away from me. Oh, that looks like we're gonna have to battle the whole Team Rocket team. Or Team Olympus team. Zorua! It's just a bunch of cool Pokemon. The illusion was broken. It was a Zorua! <laughs> That's funny. It was disguised as itself. Who would have thought? I actually never would have guessed before it happened. Alright. Uh, let's let Rock and Roll uh, take out the next person. Hey, you're not allowed here. I can go where I want. Because I have Pokemons. Another Ponyard? Hey, 
client up its attack. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Furry cutter. Oh yeah, rock doesn't resist bug. One of the few types. I'm not liking this. Okay, overheat, don't miss. There we go. Nothing to worry about. Might just have to use motors through this whole thing. I don't want to though, I want to spread the experience. I think Seahost Rue can take about just about anything on. Catwoman can't take on, uh, Lonyard. And Knives Chow and the other one can't either. We're invincible, I'll rip you to pieces. Who do you have? Another Lonyard. Shouldn't be too much trouble for Seahost Rue. Furry Cutter. <laughs> okay. Seahoster is pretty safe. Except for special attacks. Forgot about that when I was fighting that cadaver. It did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Alright. Actually, let's try, uh. Let's try Nice Chow again. You have five seconds to get up here before I call the police. Why are you calling the police? You're the, you're the people stealing stuff. Carablast. Okay, you probably have a bug move. Back, flying. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Ten damage. And I got four hit points back from you. So put you to sleep. And sleep powder misses. However, that still only did 10 damage and can't kill me. Super effective. I guess it could have killed me. That's not good. Alright, so just in case you decide to wake up, we're going to go into. Rock and roll, I'll just finish you off. Leech Seed will reset my Sturdy. And Rock Blast will finish this. Unless he misses. So they're gonna have uh, Excavaliers and the uh, uh, Acelgors. And that's what they're going to be. So super fast and super slow Pokemon. Aw, oh, damn, I forgot we were the bad guys. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Uh, you're pretty weak. Uh, savior. Let's get Catwoman a shot. Worst case scenario, I could switch to Rock and Rolla. We don't want your kind here. Sounds a little racist. Ponyard! Just as I suspected. I have nothing to hurt you with. I have to get some uh, steel type moves. Diglett would have been good for this situation. I should have switched out one of my grass types with Diglett. I like Diglett. Diglett's adorable. Alright, I'm just gonna finish the rest of this off with motor. Speed it up. I'm gonna heal and uh, use motor and see host route to take on whatever the leader is. The boss is going to be very unhappy, but it won't matter. He won't be able to save me. Hey, you're not allowed here. Get my oh, I forgot to switch out uh, Catwoman. Oh well, I'm sure Catwoman can take on anything but Ponyard. Ah, uh, but Ryo's going to have a fighting move. So we're going to go into Savior. This is your opportunity to do something. I haven't actually used you yet. Set up a leech seed. And counter won't affect special attacks, so we can start dropping some mega drains on you. Didn't 
hurts so little. But I, I mean, I can't expect much more from a Pokemon that has zero EVs. I think I'm gonna swap Savior out for uh, Moly Moly. Moly Moly Moly. Just because I love Diglett, and there's no point in having two grass stall Pokemon. So we'll have that for next episode. But I want to finish off the uh, Team Olympus Grunt. So uh, let's heal up and do that now. I kind of wish I caught a Ghastly. I love Ghastlies, they're wonderful. I got a shiny one named Sparkles in my Storm Silver Nuzlocke. Still alive. I the fifth gem as of recent. And a couple of close scares. I'd be very upset if I lost a shiny in a Nuzlocke. Alright, here we go. Talk to the girl. Nope. Nope. Old man, hey, this is no place for kids. Get lost now. No, you say fine. Athena, deal with this impotent child. Bring it on, kid. No match for Rotom. What if they're all named after this uh, Greek gods? Battle Zeus or Mars next. Ha, who dude? Won't even get a turn. Well. Never mind, that's surprising. Voodoo just making it up for water. That's great. I'm surprised it lived. Super effective stab from a rotom. And it's an unevolved Pokemon. Alright, let's overheat you. Fails, so I'm gonna have to switch out for the last Pokemon. Watch it be a Ponyard. If it's a Ponyard, we don't have to switch. Mind food. You have no idea what you're dealing with, kid. Level 18. That's a higher level than uh, the gym leader. So uh, it's gonna save here. See if I can uh, either get a loose here or a stun spore off on it. It. Detect. <laughs> that just helps me. Double snap. Critical hit. It's never fun. Okay, four times. Stun score. Paralyzed. Start getting some health back, even though that a double slap did way more than I don't like. But I'll get the Mega Drain off first. Should be able to live anything that it hits me with. Again, that does so little. Realized can't move. Alright, I have this in the bag. Xavier's gonna finish this off unless something ridiculous happens. Double slap. Just don't hit five times. Hit. Has to hit five times. Sweet! You win. And Savior was useful. Well, this commander Athena goes down. You don't know who you're messing with. Yes, I'm messing with the Greek gods. That's okay. Huh, no matter. We have what we came for. The time caller. You have proven you are a threat to our cause. Watch as we catch a legendary Pokemon and become unstoppable. I'd rather not watch. Since you defeated my assistant, you've proven yourself worthy to watch Team Olympus's rise to power. Save by using the Time Caller. Shaman? It's a Shaman, amazing. The Time Caller was successful in calling Shaman from another time. Now go map. He has a Master Ball? Visionary Pokemon of Purity. The single most powerful Pokemon in the world will belong to us. We will be unstoppable. Now stay out of our way, or next time I may not react so mercifully. They have a Shaman? Never had a shaman. I want a 
a shaman. Alright, let's just see what's in this cave. Get something quickly. Have a little bit of time left. This is... Shadow Path. Wait, what? Oh, okay, good. There is a ladder there. But yeah, uh, the battle after catching the Purloin, I encountered a Hounding and a Murkrow tag team. So either one of those could have uh, dealt with the gym. Ooh, what do we fall? But uh, yeah, I, I had no clue that Rotom was there, but it makes me very happy that it was. Uh, I'm almost tempted to use Dweeble now. It's a tough choice. Just don't forget it. I'm running a little bit close. Alright. That's almost a certain capture. This is a Dweeble. Let's get it in a Premier Ball. Evolves into a crustal, so we're gonna call it Crusty Crab if possible. It makes a, makes a hole in a suitable rock. That rock breaks, the Pokemon remains agitated until it locates a replacement. And I guess it's bug type turn, then, so we're gonna call you Crusty Crab. Sweet. Even though it's not a crab, but whatever. That'll be the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.